All right, guys, I got rid of a lot of shoes when we moved from the Bay Area to Sacramento. So I would like to welcome back one of my favorites. Hey, what's good, guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today we've got something special because I picked these up alongside the Air Jordan 5 grapes. So these guys right here recently released. This is the Indigo Air Jordan 12. AKA, I appreciate those. This is that video? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then I actually replaced the laces because I wanted to make them more like the uh, the shoe that I wanted, which is the original Jordan 12, the Obsidian. I still have not worn these, but uh, Brian, he's a contributor on weartesters.com. He's worn the hell out of them. And basically what this does is it gets darker as it ages and wears. So the more that you wear them, the more that they might look like they should. Have. I, I like them both. They're just different enough. I really don't like that Jordan Brand does that though sometimes. It's like, man, you've been waiting so long and they're just like, oh, we heard you wanted something like this. So here you go. Anyways, these guys right here, I cannot remember when these were released. Let me look. 2012, which sounds about right. And uh, the shoe came stuffed and crammed with all this stuff. Not necessary. But they did come with this cool thing that was very short-lived. I think it was on these and maybe some Jordan 10s. I can't actually remember, but uh, this is back when the Jordan brand actually cared about us as consumers. So they were giving us a little bit of extra. So we got this little guy right here. It says the Air Jordan 12 collection, which is dope. It's got the carbon fiber pattern on there. And then it says uh, 12, very reminiscent of that shell that used to come in the pull-out drawer boxes of the uh, Air Jordan 11s. You know, the Tinker made them shine, Mike made them fly. You made them iconic by spending all your money on them for all of these years. I forgot that last line. Oh yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> if you hold a black light to it, that's what shows, you know? So it's got you again, sucker. Bazinga. But the Air Jordan 12 is one of my favorite shoes uh, from the brand. I just think that these are awesome. They're, they're tanks, they're great on court once you break them in, but I absolutely love them. I love this colorway of them as well. I remember the first time I saw these, I thought that they were the playoffs, which is my, well, okay. So the Jordan 13s and the Jordan 12s are very interesting shoes because you show me any of the original colorways and I always say, hey, that's my favorite color of those. So uh, yeah, you could just pick any of them and it's my favorite color. But the playoffs, I was gonna say, is my other favorite colorway. And I remember seeing them on TV. But back then, we didn't have HD TV. We had tube TVs, which aren't that great. Unless you're trying to play Nintendo and Duck Hunt, then they're necessary. But I saw these on the feet of Jamie Foxx on the WB. He wore these, but I thought they were playoffs, but they were actually these, and it was crazy. And I was just like, what? Like, those are crazy, man. I do wonder if this was supposed to have been the original all-star colorway, you know what I mean? So they did that with the Air Jordan 11 the year previous with the UNC joints. Now they call them Legend Blues. But instead in the uh, all-star game, he ended up wearing the playoff colorway, and he did that the following year with the 13s as well. So like the Indigo, they are kind of the same thing, but much darker on the upper because this is obsidian obsidian blue. This is like, again, what they're trying to go for. The more that you wear these, they'll look like this. I really wish that they put in white laces though, because my white laces are a little bit fatter than the ones that actually come with the shoe. Tech specs are amazing though. We have herringbone traction pods. There's a heel and forefoot pod right there. They work really well. Uh, there is a full length carbon fiber plate. And by full length, I mean, it goes from about here to about here. And that is what they used to consider full length because they don't make them from heel all the way up the toe. And it is very stiff. <laughs> However, the midsole, despite the shoe being so stiff is actually quite thin. It's just that carbon fiber plate is so stiff and rigid that it makes it feel like a tank. So they look like a boot and that's kind of what they were designed after. There's a multiple different uh, design inspirations, the Japanese flag being one of them, the other one being a men's or women's like uh, fashion boot and stuff like that, like the Italian style. And that's why it looks like it has a little heel right there. So yeah, there's all kinds of stuff, but these guys right here, they are a little bit rigid. And then on top of that, there's a full length Zoom Air unit. It was awesome. It's the first time that Zoom Air was ever introduced into the Air Jordan line. Not only that, they did it right the first time where it was just full length, man, it was amazing. Then they do a little bit of a nod back to the uh, old Italian days for the Air Jordan 2 with the reptile overlays. And yes, this is supposed to be reptile skin. It's not supposed to be basketball texture, which some people confuse it for. Uh, basketball texture is consistent. This is actually inconsistent. It looks like a reptile skin. The upper is leather. It's not fantastic or anything. It's a little stiff. You do need some braking 
time, but it's good enough. And then the tongue area is just one of my favorite little aspects. I always loved how it spelled out two, three. It spelled out two and then had the number three. And I was like, man, that's so clever. But I was like 13, 14, you know what I mean? And you got the little jump man on there. I love the way that the UNC pops against this darker blue. It's awesome. It's traditional Carolina colors because they do have the darker unis and things like that with the UNC blue pop. I uh, also love the back of the shoe. I love the tab where it says Jordan quality inspired by the greatest player ever, even if it might not be true anymore, but it once was. This is a standard that they used to set themselves by and I used to love it so much. And then the 23 on the back there just looks amazing. It's fantastic. So these guys again are the previous release, the Indigo and uh, the Ice Days used to be metal and I'm not sure which one I dislike more. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if I dislike the fake chrome look or if it's the fake metal look. It's both just not up to par with the original, which is back there. I guess these look closer to the original, which were metal, so I, I suppose I'll take these. It is what it is. Uh, I just absolutely love this shoe. I love this colorway. I regretted getting rid of them, and I appreciate Fat Graham for selling some of this stuff so I can go in and swoop it up because, you know, I dig it. If anything, I have learned in my 18 years with you. Things seem to boomerang back to you. Yeah, I do that quite often. I'm just like, I'm done with this, but I'm not because I love this shit. I've done that ever since I was a kid. Like that's where I lost a lot of my uh, original comic book action figures and trading cards where I thought I wanted to grow up. And I was told that in order to grow up, you had to get rid of all of your cool shit. Okay, Peter Pan. Dude, I'm saying, man. And so, yeah, I got rid of all of that stuff and I always regretted it. That's why I ended up collecting action figures, shoes. So I'm like stuck in a time where things were good. You know what I mean? And now as an adult, things are still good, but adulting sucks. So shout out to all of you young kids. Make sure that you appreciate that shit, man, because it goes by hella fast. Yeah, tell your mom you love her. Give her a hug just because. Unless your mom's a Do you have a preference? I knew this was coming. Really? How'd you know? Man. Was it, were you being facetious there? I was trying to be slick. I was just like, man, she's never going to see this coming. And apparently she saw this coming. So uh, which one do you like more? I'm going to disappoint you here. Oh no. You like the new one? I do. The only thing that I would change is I would pull this side panel because I like that better than the flat. That's the funny thing is that I do like oh. the texture list, even though I missed it on here, but it also looks really good. Like this is a nice cut of leather right here. Mm. So I like how smooth that looks but I also love the original. So yeah, so that's the only well, thing. Plus, I like the idea of every shoe ending up looking kind of unique. Yeah. yeah, just based off of your wear. Plus, I like that in general, seeing how stuff looks used. No, like I, a lot of people always be like, oh man, like why don't you treat those nicely? And it's just like, no, you did. You wore the hell out of those. You loved those shoes. You got your money's worth. That too, and that's very important. But thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Let us know what you think about these down below in the comment section. And until next time, guys, have a good one.